Today is the ninth day of our novena, the sub-theme, Mary Most Prudent. Mary was given the title of Most Prudent because she discerned what was truly good and always looked for the best way in achieving solutions for others. She was careful and aware of all that she did. She silently reflected and asked God's help before she spoke or acted. She took action where there was a threat to Jesus' safety. She and Jesus Joseph both took their roles as guardians and protectors very seriously. At this Eucharistic celebration, Mary calls us to be guardians and protectors of our environment by being prudent in our choices and promoting a new lifestyle which chisels away all our selfish wants. This Mass is offered for the soul of Bruno Di Mello in thanksgiving to Mother Mary, for the soul of William Thomas, it's a month's mind Mass. We also pray for the legionaries, Legion of Mary, all over the world they complete 99 years today and we have uh, one of our legionaries who has come to help us out in the liturgy. We welcome her. And I also pray for all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, for your personal intention and your prayer during this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sinfulness, so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. As we all together say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary of Virgin come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger, so that we may rejoice in your peace. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I have been told as an undoubted fact that one of you is living with his father's wife. This is a case of sexual immorality among you that must be unapparelled even among pagans. 
How can you be so proud of yourselves? You should be in mourning. A man who does a thing like that ought to have been expelled from the community. Though I am far away in body, I am with you in spirit and have already condemned the man who did this thing as if I were actually present. When you are assembled together in the name of the Lord Jesus and I am spiritually present with you, then with the power of our Lord Jesus, he is to be handed over to Satan so that his sensual body may be destroyed and his spirit saved on the day of the Lord. The pride that you take in yourselves is hardly to your credit. You must know how even a small amount of yeast is enough to leaven all the dough. So get rid of all the old yeast and make yourselves into a completely new batch of bread, unleavened as you are meant to be. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast. Then by getting rid of all the old yeast of evil and wickedness, having only the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response in Psalm. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their grounds before your face. Our response. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. A response. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Let's stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the praise of God be on their lips. This honor is for all his faithful. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. On the Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. And a man was there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees were watching to see if Jesus could cure the man on the Sabbath, hoping to find something to use against him. But he knew their thoughts, and he said to the man with the withered hand, Stand up, come out into the middle. And he came out and stood there. And then Jesus said to them, I put it to you, is it against the law on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? Then he looked round at them all and said to the man, Stretch out your right hand. He did so, and his hand was better. But they were furious and began to discuss the best way of dealing with Jesus. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, we are reflecting on the another virtue, one more virtue of Mother Mary, and that is prudence. Mary most prudent. The word prudent means a careful action to do good and avoid evil. Think and then act upon. The opposite of prudence can be indiscretion or lack of common sense. We say this man is crack. If he is not acting properly, we say he is crack. So the use of common sense, act wisely. Prudent can mean act wisely. And that is what we see in the life of Mary. In the introduction we read that she was prudent. She was prudent. Her careful action when she had a flight to Egypt to protect her son Jesus, infant Jesus. And from there, when Herod died, they came back, but they didn't come back to Bethlehem again. They went to Nazareth, thinking that there will be still danger to baby Jesus because Herod's son had come on throne. My dear brothers and sisters, very prudently she said yes to the call of God. She was prudent enough at the wedding at Cana when she realized that this wedding family requires some help. She goes and asks Jesus prudently to help this family. She kept what she didn't understand in her heart and she pondered. That is a, one of the quality of to one of the qualities to be prudent. What we don't understand, we think, we ponder over it and then we act. And that is what Mary did. She didn't act carelessly, but she was very careful in her action and in her words. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus shows this prudence. The crowd is there and he's preaching and there there is a man who is physically handicapped and it, it was Sabbath day and Pharisees were looking something in Jesus to trap him, to catch him, some fault in him and therefore they, wanted, they were seeing that what he is doing after seeing this man, physically handicapped man but knowing what is going on in the minds of Pharisees, Jesus asked them is it lawful to do good or bad on Sabbath day? And they didn't have any answer. To save life or to destroy it, they didn't have any answer. He calls that man with withered hand and he tells, he commands that man to stretch out his hand and his, he was healed. In the first reading we have St. Paul who is rebuking the action of one man. Immoral action because he is staying with his father's wife. Second wife and now he has made her his wife and he is staying. It's an immoral action and it is a scandal to the whole community. And St. Paul calls the whole community to mourn over this evil deeds and repent is asking for the spiritual renewal very prudently he is showing his prudence in the first reading we have this man who is spiritually handicapped in the gospel reading physical handi handicap in the first reading we have spiritual handicapped person both these person require Jesus for their healing 
because G Saint Paul uses the words of Jesus because Jesus has given the authority and power to his disciples and his apostles to preach and call the sinners for repentance so the result of the preaching the result of the word of god is repentance call of repentance so through preaching people come to repent they come to the sacrament of reconciliation that is also a prudent action when we realize that what we are doing is wrong and bringing the change in that action doing good and avoiding evil is a prudent action my dear brothers and sisters the major theme of ours is mary queen of creation this whole planet this whole earth is a living or living planet is breathing and we have been we have been entrusted to take care of this planet through our action but we have become plunderers of this earth we are plundering the resources the natural resources and if we go on doing this our future generation will suffer we have we have already started suffering because of this because we have become plunderers let us pray during this eucharist and let us make a, pay, a pledge and promise to mother mary that we may become the green warriors to this mother earth and act prudently in order to take care of this mother earth amen Lord, I We offer you, O Lord, these offerings of consolation and praise, humbly asking that, following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the blessed virgin mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise for truly even to all ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid You gave us through her the author of our salvation your son Jesus Christ our lord through him the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the deep fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald Gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co haste to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all disgrace, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We have the Novena Prayer. Novena Prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, the day of salvation dawned when the Blessed Virgin gave birth to your Son, Christ our Lord, who set us free from sin and gave us new life. As we celebrate her nativity, and join now in constant prayer with her. We implore you to heal the sick, to comfort the sorrowful, to pardon sinners, and to grant us our special petitions. Mention your special request. Look graciously upon us and help us to learn from Mary, who in this time of the pandemic accompanies us on the way of virtues. As we strive to live by these virtues through our own efforts, but above all with your grace, guide us by your Holy Spirit to always pursue what is good and and in accordance with your will. You deigned to do great things for the Virgin Mary and brought her body and soul to the glory of heaven. Fill the hearts of your children with the hope of Christ's glory. Amen. Our Lady of the Mount, pray, pray for, for us. us. Today we take the green pledge as solemnly we stand, if we are in our homes and sitting, place our right hand across our chest and repeat this after me. God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of Mother Earth as a blessing to each and every living human being and animal and plant life. What you have made is good and you have given us the responsibility to preserve, protect and pro promulgate earth. May our actions of generosity, compassion and life-giving work enliven and bring this earth 
to fruition. May our destructive actions and those of governments and interested parties stop. May everybody be given a chance to live, animals, human beings, plant life. Give us the courage to be generous and life-giving and like Mary, protect environment and creation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Having nourished us with heavenly food, O Lord, grant that according to the example of Blessed Virgin Mary, we may serve you in purity of life and magnify you with her in wholehearted praise to Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's offering is tea powder. So please, those who want to offer the tea powder, we can come and give in the office or outside the school office. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Holy Thank you.